let's see the program sir sir let us try to write a program let us try to write a program to add two numbers to add two numbers sir 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 if we want to add two numbers what do we need two numbers if we want to add two numbers what we need two numbers okay so let us try to add two numbers sir hash include stdiu dot h void main void main okay let me take two numbers sir a is equal to 2 b is equal to 3 sir what is this what is this and how it is different from this how it is different from this sir with this what happened with this what happened sir in memory two named location or two variables are created but we didn't provide any value did we provide no so if i ask as of now by this line what is the value inside a sir garbage value what is the value inside b sir garbage value and this is called as declaration this is called as declaration but what happened with this sir two variables are created a and b and 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 sir 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 along with declaration what we provide we provided some initial value first time value we also provide some initial value to a and some initial value to b that is why what is this called this is called as initialization declaration along with some initial value is called as initialization so so this is different and this is different this is called as declaration this is called as initialization declaration along with some initial value you are not only creating a variable you are creating a variable and also providing some first value some initial value that will reside inside that variable so sir two things are there okay I hope a new concept was there. Sir, int a is equal to 2, b is equal to 3. What happened? With this, two variables are created in memory. Okay. With some value 2 and 3. What, what we are interested in? Sir, we are interested in adding these two numbers. Sir, sir. What is this? This is an operation. This is an operator. Sir, just like mathematics, in mathematics, we have, we have operators that will perform some operation similar to that, similar to that, programming language also has operators that will perform some operation like we have plus, minus, multiply, divide. Just like in mathematics, we have plus, minus, multiply, divide for arithmetic operations. On the same manner, in programming language also, we have some operator. Okay, so what is this, sir? Some operation is there. Sir, what we are interested in? We are interested in adding these two numbers. Okay, 2 plus 3 is 5. But, but, sir, we have to store this result now. We have to store this result. Okay, let me take, sir, where we can store a value inside a variable. Let me take a variable C. So, what we want? Sir, C is equal to A plus B. Sir, even in mathematics, how things work? Sir, first, First, a plus b will be performed. What is a plus b? Sir, 5. And that 5 value, that 5 value, that 5 value goes inside c. Okay, that means a plus b, 5. And this 5 value goes inside c. Okay, sir. So, we have to take a third variable, c. Now, what we want? Now, what we want? Sir, now what we want? Sir, we want to print this addition. Sir, 
print f the sum of can i write the sum of percentage d and percentage d is percentage d sir what is first percentage d we are saying what we are saying is try to understand this sir sir when this program will run first line second line is known to everyone okay sir what happen with the third line see by default whatever written in double quote is treated as text so the space sum space of as it is the sum of with this percentage d compiler get to know that some integer values to be printed okay in integer format okay from where to pick that value sir a that means what is to be printed to and will be printed in text format percentage d again some integer values to be printed sir this is second percentage d we have already used a go at memory location b okay is as it is percentage d okay what to sir sir c that means the output is like this the sum of 2 and 3 is 5 but let me ask you what is the output of this program if you run it 100 times sir the output of this program is always same Every time this will print the sum of 2 and 3 is 5. The sum of 2 and 3 is 5. Why? Because we have hard coded these two values. We have hard coded these two values inside our program. This program is not for addition of two numbers. This program is for addition of 2 and 3. Are we interested in making such program that will give me the addition of 2 and 3? Every time I run this program, this will print the sum of 2 and 3 is 5. Sir, everyone knows the sum. Even if don't know, then first time, we only need to know it one time. Nah. Sir, is this programming? No. Sir, what should be done? In order, in order to make a program for addition of two number, you must scan those two values from the keyboard. User must provide those two values. A program must be generalized. That means for a program, for a program, if I'll, I am saying that this is the program to add two number. So it may happen that first time the input would be 10 and 20. The output must be 30. If I run this program second time, it may be there that the user will give 121 and 39 as input, then the output would be 160. So program must be like this, generalized program. Think of it, think of it like that, that uh, you have Google Maps <laughs> and every time you open it, every time you will open it, no matter what you provide, sir, sir, we are not providing anything and every time the route map is from Delhi to Goa. Oh, is that of any use? No, sir. No, sir. It must be generalized. If you provide source as Delhi and destination as Goa, then only it will print, it will give you the route from Delhi to Goa. Otherwise, sometime what you want, sir, Agra to Jaipur, then the route must be from Agra to Jaipur. Then it must be a generalized software or a generalized application or a generalized program. So what we are interested in, sir, we are interested in, not, not interested in, the addition of 2 and 3, what we want, what we want, sir, now, now, try to understand, what we want, sir, we want to add two numbers coming from keyboard, okay, so, so, let's see. Sir, again, the same concept is there. We need three variables. For sure, we need three variables. Okay. Some of you can say that we don't need C variable. Of course, you can directly print it. Okay. You can write it A plus B here. But try to learn things in a good way. So, sir. Hash include stdio.h void main int a b c sir why didn't we provide initial value or hard code because we want the user to provide us two values okay sir 
what we want. Now display a message printf enter two numbers enter two numbers okay then then sir scan f what do we want we want two numbers to be readed from the keyboard okay if this is the monitor this is the monitor we have variable a we have variable b and we have variable c okay sir as it is this printf when this printf will execute the output would be enter two numbers and the cursor is like here the cursor is cursor is here okay let us suppose user is entering 10 sir what we want we want to scan we want to scan two numbers okay sir if we want two numbers to scan we must provide the format specifier for each number if i am providing percentage d percentage d that means i am saying the first input is to be treated or is to be read in integer format okay when you entered again the cursor is blinking why the cursor is blinking because this scanf is expecting two numbers to come this is scanf is expecting two numbers to come so sir what happened with this enter this 10 goes inside a how this will go because you need to provide that the first value must reside at address of a that means you are saying whatever be the first value go at the address of a that is 1000 and store it here okay now the user let us suppose gives 20 and pressed enter sir what happened what what we want i want this value to reside here so what i need to provide sir in scanf i need to provide the address of b what I am saying, the second value is to be read in integer format and is to be stored at address of B. Go at the address, store this value. So, things are like this. Things are like this. Okay. Sir, with single scanf, can we read multiple values? Yes, of course you can read. Now, what we want? Sir, we want to add these. So, simple statement, A plus B. Sir, what, what happened? A plus B, addition is performed. 10 plus 20, 30 and that 30 will be stored here. Now, we are interested in printing this result. Okay. Printf. The sum of percentage D. I cannot write the sum of 10 and 20 because, because again it will hard code the output. So, so, if I write the sum of 10 and 20 is 30, what does that mean, sir? Even if user provide 100 and 200 or 16 and 15, the output would be same, the sum of 100 and 200. Instead, instead of 110 and 20, why I am writing percentage D? Because I am not interested in printing the sum of 10 and 20. I am interested in printing the sum of values inside the variable a whose data type is integer. That is why I need a format specifier. The sum of the value inside a and what is the type integer and the value inside b what is the format specifier for integer is the value inside c okay let's let's try to execute this printer sir till here to here it is in text format so this will print the sum of Okay, sir, first percentage D refers to first value after comma, double quotes, comma. Okay, that means what we are saying, some integer values to be printed. From where to collect that value, go at named location A, print that value, that is 20. See, and is printed as it is, percentage D, this percentage D corresponds to B. We are saying some integer values to be printed. From where to collect it? Go at named location B. Print the value. 
ट्वेंटी एज इट इज इज टैक्स फॉर्म एज इट इज कर सर परसेंटेज डी सर थर्ड परसेंटेज डी करस्पॉन्ड्स टू सी गो एट सी प्रिंट इट सो दैट इज द आउटपुट ऑफ दिस कोड द सम ऑफ टेन एंड ट्वेंटी इज थर्टी now this is called as generalized program this is called as generalized program think for a moment and think about what is the difference between the previous code and this code sir this is generalized first time you run this program it may happen the user will give 10 and 20 second time you run this program it may happen the user will give 16 and 50 and the output would be as per the coming values the output is not hard coded the input is not hard coded so that is why this is this is a generalized approach for making programs sir our programs must be generalized our programs must be generalized they must not be hard coded so sir how is scanf work do i know yes sir do we know yes sir how printf work do we know yes sir how how printf scanf can print multiple values printf can take multiple inputs scanf yes sir so as of now i hope printf scanf and the working of both of them must be clear in from next session we will start discussing operators in c programming language just like mathematics we have operations we have operators like plus minus multiply divide and their task is to perform some kind of operation for example plus minus multiply divide they are used to perform arithmetic operations in the same manner programming language also have some operators so from next session we will start discussing different types of operators in c programming language so bye bye take care